Winter's here, the snow is falling on a car As we drive for miles to that little town called home Tinsel hangs from every corner of the house And Christmas lights shine right through the cold evening fog channel this is your girl Mary smart kenya in case you're new here please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that anytime i post a new video you'll be among the first people to be notified and for my returning family thank you so much and welcome back to this channel for the new subscribers thank you so much guys for subscribing and welcome to this family my premier gang thank you so much guys for always being here i really appreciate you and welcome back to this channel so today I'm going to be spending my evening with you as a working from home mom mostly because it's towards the weekend we usually have a lot of orders we have a lot of work to do so now I want us to spend my evening with you we're going to be baking we're going to be cooking we're going to be doing a lot of stuff so and then uh, when cooking I want to try a very weird recipe okay I've seen it some people do it here on youtube so today i want to try it uh yeah it's kind of weird to me because to some extent it doesn't make sense but i want to try it and then i'm going to be giving you honest my honest opinion so now let's get started <laughs> I'm already done with the first batch. I was cooking fruit cake and I really love fruit cake. So whenever I cook fruit cake, I usually make sure I have an extra uh, piece of cake because I really, really, really love this. Fruit cake and blueberries are my favorite. Also, my son really loves fruit cake. So now I want to measure the second batch. I'm going to be putting this in the fridge. And then after that, I want to measure the second batch i think the rest i'll be baking tomorrow because today i've baked a lot behind the cameras i usually measure my cakes to make sure because i prefer baking in two tins instead of instead of one tin to make sure they cook through so now i'm going to be dividing this into two and this is a vanilla oreo
After that, I usually tap to make sure the trapped air, air is out. Next, before I make my dinner, I want to make a... Uh, I have these cupcakes. I want to decorate some cupcakes for graduation. And the person who is graduating, he plays basketball. That's why you can see we have both themes of basketball and graduation. So this is an edible print. So I'm just cutting I'm just cutting the patterns out and then I'm going to be showing you the next step. Bouncing off the house the church choir sings a lot. fondant and then I place my, our edible print of photos to be placing our edible photos on top of the fondant
be mixing either mix it with vegetables uh, like cabbage or some spinach I eat it with ugali or I do the that chips thing so today I want to mix with githeri I see how it turns out I'm going to give you to be giving you my honest opinion personally when it comes to food I really love experimenting so the first thing I'm going to be doing back to our pot I want we brown our beef I'm not going to be putting much just kidogo because I'm not sure how it's going to taste because I've never eaten like githeri with beef because I believe beans are proteins and meat is proteins too By the way, has any one of you cooked this mixture of githeri and beef or any other type of meat? Personally, I've never tried it. So if you have ever tried it, can you let me know how, how you are swore? Did you like it? Is it something that you can do it again? Our beef are brown. I'm going to be adding our spices, which I'm going to be adding two cubes. And then I'm going to be adding our turmeric. Just kidogo. Take a quarter teaspoon and then I'm going to be adding garam masala. And finally, I'm going to be adding paprika. After this, I'm going to be adding our onions. Today, I don't want my onions to be brown. I just want my onions to be translucent, that's why I did add before the spices. I'm just crossing my fingers, it's going to be yummy. <laughs> After my onions are translucent, I'm going to be adding our tomatoes. Some tomato paste. I'm going to be covering this to allow our tomatoes to cook well. Our tomatoes and spices are well cooked, so now I'm going, I'm going to be adding our dairy. Okay, I'm finding this off and weird, but I want to try and see how it's going to turn out. Then I'm going to be adding our green capsicum. Today I want my green capsicum to be very crunchy.
After this, I'm going to be adding some beef stock. And then let it simmer for some few minutes. Our food is ready, so now I want us we serve and then we test it and then I give you my honest opinion. But it looks very yummy, but for the taste, I'm going to be giving you feedback in the next few. Now here is our food, I want us to taste and then I'm going to be giving you honest opinion or honest feedback. Have you ever tried cooking gilleri mixed with or any cereals mixed with, with beef or any other type of meat? Honestly speaking, it's so 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 yummy. Combination looks weird and off, but it's very yummy. Would I try it out again? Mm -hmm. I can, but not on a regular basis. Um, because I really eat with dairy, because of my health status. But honestly, it's so yummy. Once in, once in a while, I don't mind trying this, but the combination of it is so off and so weird. Unless I cook, even if I cook beef separately, I, I don't think I can. Because beans are proteins, I think this is too much proteins. But when it comes to yumminess, Tick, 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 tick. It's so yummy. So now, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching till now. Thank you so much for your support. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and make sure you like this video, share it widely, and please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel. Until next time, bye-bye.